President Trump pledges a coronavirus vaccine by the end of the year, but says the U.S. must reopen even without one. And I just want to make something clear. It's very important. Vaccine or no vaccine, we're back. The coronavirus infection rate creeps back up in the UK. It's now close to the point where infections may rise again. Brazil's health minister resigns after only a month in the job as COVID-19 deaths rise. He's the second to leave the post since the start of the pandemic. Relief for German football fans as the beautiful game is back, but behind closed doors. And lockdown in the tower. We see how the beef eaters are maintaining things while London's iconic site is closed. Our retail sales in the United States have slumped more than 16% in April, their biggest ever fall. Manufacturing output has also suffered a record drop as states across the country imposed lockdowns in the face of the pandemic. On Thursday, figures showed 36 million Americans have now applied for unemployment benefits in the space of just two months. And Portugal has approved a further easing of the coronavirus lockdown it imposed back in March. The Prime Minister, Antonio Costa, said the second phase of reopening will go ahead from next Monday as planned. This means that restaurants, museums and cafes can reopen with social distancing measures and older school pupils will have some face-to-face -face classes again. Ireland's Prime Minister, Leo Varadkar, has announced an easing of lockdown restrictions. From Monday, groups of up to four people who don't live together will be allowed to meet outdoors. A number of larger retailers will reopen and construction workers will be allowed to return to work. Ryanair has cut more than 250 jobs in its offices in the UK, Ireland, Spain and Poland because of the collapse in demand for flights. The airline said a small number of the losses had been made through compulsory redundancies. Ryanair also plans to cut up to 3,000 posts among its pilots and cabin crew.